Performing a one-man Shakespeare show on the Isle of Wight in March, former Howard's Way actor Graham Poutney is here to tell us more. Well, thank you for coming in to see us, Graham. It's that, an absolute pleasure. That is my pleasure too. <laughs> and I suppose my, my first question is, it, Shakespeare is quite uh, dramatic at the best of times. Mm -hmm. How do you put that across as a one-man show? Well, I love playing Shakespeare and uh, I've done quite a bit of it in my time and I also like entertaining people so it's a bit like a spoken word one man stand up but using some of Shakespeare's words and uh, grasping the audience and getting them involved as well uh, lots of insults <laughs> lots of poetry lots of prose lots of character changes so I have three or four five different characters I play during the evening and just me as well which is quite fun I was going to say just you, but then you do get the audience involved as well. Mm -hmm. um, oh, what, yeah. what sort of things do you get them doing? Uh, well, I have a couple of baskets which are full of uh, the insults, uh, which I've selected and cut up. Mm -hmm. So I ask them all to pass them down and swear at each other. <laughs> and if anyone doesn't have a partner, they can swear at me. And so I'll sling some uh, insults back, <laughs> which is quite fun. And are they modern insults or are they Oh, they're all Shakespearean. Shakespearean insults. Shakespearean insults, yeah, taken from the plays. And uh, so that's quite fun. It, it, it loosens everybody up and they said, goodness me. I've also got a slide that goes up uh, behind me as well, which has got, uh, is jam-packed of things which we say now, mm -hmm. which were um, subscribed or ascribed to Shakespeare. Okay. We don't know whether he actually um, sort of coined them, but the first time they were in print, was in one of his plays at some point. In Hamlet, there are 600 new words. Wow. Just the one play. So if you and imagine... I thought Roald Dahl was impressive with the words that he created. <laughs> so it's... Yeah, well, yes, he's a <laughs> wonderful man, wonderful. It's glorious. The, the English language is so rich and vibrant, mm -hmm. um, and it comes through through that as well. And I mean, harping back to my days at uh, sort of secondary school, obviously you were taught Shakespeare and it was quite a laborious task, but actually it sounds like you, particularly with the insults and things like that, you're trying to bring the sort of the more fun side of Shakespeare out and what you're doing. Definitely. Yeah, I do some serious bits as well. But uh, yes, it's, it's fun and enjoyable. And um, where I'm doing it, which is the Key Arts Centre in Newport on the Isle of Wight on March the 4th, an evening there, they've actually got a weekend of, of beer festival as well. Oh, okay. So I'm working with them <laughs> and I'm putting into the show a little bit about Shakespeare actually got fined oh. for hoarding malt. Now malt is a seminal part of making beer mm -hmm. and when you wonder why he was hoarding <laughs> malt, it could be that his wife was running a microbrewery Shakespeare's special brew, if you like. Mm, could well have been, <laughs> yes, Stratford Pale or something. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? So um, I'm, we've got a, a beer tasting going on as well and all sorts of stuff. And uh, yeah, it's good fun. It's, it's going to be a very nice evening. Excellent. And with the sort of plethora of quality sort of playwrights out there, what was it about Shakespeare that really sort of ignited your imagination? Um, when I was a youngster, I could sort of do it. Mm -hmm which is nice. I started, um, started by playing Othello. Othello is a, is a North African guy, a dark-skinned mm -hmm. fellow. Me? Play? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did, and uh, just loved the language. And when I was 18, you could black up, and I, I did a passable imitation of, uh, uh, of uh, somebody else doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Laurence Olivier, in fact. But um, it was fun to do that, and I just grasped the language. I loved doing it, and uh, it, it sort of got under my skin, really. And uh, I've been an actor for 40 years now, which has been oh, a very long time. So I've done quite a lot of the plays. I was going to say, do you often find yourself drawn back to them as your career's progressed? Yeah, I've done one about four times. It's wow. much to do about nothing. Um, grown up in bits of it and playing sort of uh, older roles now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's good fun. It's kept me alive and alert. I've started a company or well, back in the 90s called the Original Shakespeare Company mm -hmm. and uh, a group of us started that and we did it purely from the first folio, that's the first time all Shakespeare's plays were put together in a compendium mm -hmm. written up by two of his own actors and produced for them in homage to him seven years after his death mm -hmm. 
And so 400 years after his death, well, last year, <laughs> I'm putting this together to, to say this is a, a, a wonderful way of looking at him. But the interesting thing is my original Shakespeare company mm -hmm. worked only from Q-script scrolls, okay. which is what we are doing on the, on the day, on March the 4th. Mm -hmm. Q-script scrolls from the audience doing it live. Excellent. Fantastic. And we've just got enough time just to have a quick look at your flyer oh, and yeah. re recommend where people can come and see you. There we go. See if you can see that all right. Maybe a little bit higher, higher. just so we can see it. There, that's it. Fantastic. Good. That's so fine. So where can people come along and see the show? Um, Key Arts Centre, Newport, 7.30 on March the 4th, Saturday. And there's a beer festival going on as well. <laughs> so uh, Shakespeare on cue. Shakespeare, <laughs> beer... Sounds good enough to me. It's a nice, nice evening. Graham, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure.